يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful in this session we are going to talk about the ihram and the tawaf of women as well as ramal and istiba and zamzam and its virtues ihram of women clothing should be normal modest islamic dress with a head covering of any color socks may be worn but the hands and the faces must be uncovered although covering the face is prohibited women must use a cloth that hangs over the face without touching it tawaf of women performing tawaf with husband or mahram is not a requirement although it is advisable to be accompanied by someone if salah starts women must make every effort to move into one of the designated areas as salah is due to begin the tawaf area can become extremely crowded so it is advisable to perform tawaf on another floor where there is less of a crowd if women are performing tawaf on the ground level it is a good idea to perform tawaf away from the inner circle of people who are closest to the kaaba and where it is most crowded ramal and istiba both words refer to the tawaf ramal refers to the practice of walking quickly lifting the legs forcefully and striking out the chest while moving the shoulders during tawaf of umrah and tawaf al qudum so as to imitate a warrior it is a sunnah to perform ramal for the first three rounds before returning to normal walking pace for the final four rounds neglecting ramal will not invalidate the tawaf istiba refers to the practice of uncovering the right shoulder during tawaf of umrah and tawaf al qudum it is sunnah to perform istiba for the entire duration of the tawaf it means for the seven circuits neglecting istiba will not invalidate the tawaf zamzam and its virtues after you have completed your salat of tawaf and made dua drink zamzam water which is available in masjid al haram the entrance of the old well of zamzam has been covered to allow for more room to do tawaf therefore zamzam water can now only be taken from the various water fountains and dispensers around the haram the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the water of zamzam is for whatever purpose it is drunk for before drinking the zamzam water make an intention that its consumption will be a means of fulfilling your wishes whether that is good health success in this world or protection from the tribulations of the grave when drinking the water it is recommended mustahab uh, to stand and face the kaaba say bismillah pause to take a breath three times and say alhamdulillah after finishing you may recite the following dua after drinking the water allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'a wa rizqan wasi'a wa shifa'an min kulli da' allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'a wa rizqan wasi'a wa shifa'an min kulli da' Allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'a wa rizqan wasi'a wa shifa'an min kulli da' Wa Allah, I ask you for knowledge that is beneficial, provision that is abundant, 
and a cure from every illness. You may also make any other supplication of your choice. Prior to performing Sa'i, it is a Sunnah to perform Istilam of the Hajar al-Aswad. It means to kiss the Hajar al-Aswad or to send a flying kiss to the Hajar al-Aswad. You will be performing Istilam for the ninth time following the eight times you performed Istilam during Tawaf. This Istilam is only applicable if you are going to perform Sa'i immediately after the Tawaf. Now we are going to the Mas'a to perform the Sa'i between Safa and Marwa. Inshallah, in the next session, we will talk about the Sa'i. May Allah Azza wa Jal grant us all the tawfiq and the inspiration to put into consideration the points mentioned. Amin.